How to look more awake, the secrets that work. Hi, I'm Katie, I'm a professional makeup artist. These are the products that make an instant impact and essentially will help you look like you've had the best beauty sleep of your life. The first thing we're gonna use is this foundation. Now, I'm not gonna use any concealer because I'm using an extreme coverage foundation. Now, for many people, they might be like, oh, that would be way too much for me. But hear me out, because as a makeup artist, I know that if you find a really, really incredible foundation, such as this one, and you apply it sparingly in thin layers, it will give you a quicker finished result than spending ages really trying to perfect a very sheer foundation. I'm gonna apply the products to just this side of my face so you can see the incredible difference that each of these products make. When I use this, I put a little bit onto the back of my hand. The trick is to apply it in only the key areas that you need it most. So for most of this, it's under the eye, and when you apply it under the eye, you just need to put it where you most have the darkness. So for most of us, it's on the inner corner, and you just pat it in. It's so quick and easy, and I promise you, if you use a full coverage foundation, such as this one, you won't need to use any concealer and it will save you time in the morning. By patting the product in, you're gonna help build up the coverage while seamlessly blending it. When you want to shear out a product, you feather with your finger like that and it shears it. With the leftover on my fingers, I'm gonna simply press onto my eye. I'm now going to pat a little bit around my nose because this is where most of us have a little bit of redness. And if you're someone that has redness on their cheeks that they want to perfect, simply going to pat and feather a little bit around my mouth. It gives you a perfected complexion without having to apply a full face of foundation. It's a real makeup artist secret. There you have the most incredible complexion with the tiniest amount of foundation. The next thing I love to do as a makeup artist is to apply a really soft natural bronzer to just create a beautiful sculpted look. I urge you to give this a try because it really does bring the face to life. I love to swirl my brush in the bronzer, tap off into the palette, and then I will build up the color gradually. So I will start by firstly taking my bronzer and just where your top of your ear is here, you're gonna swoosh it down like so. So it's hugging the contour of your cheekbone here. Now this isn't really a contoured look, I call this a sculpted look because it's just a softer version. And because we're using a bronzer and not a contour palette, it's just gonna look a little bit more natural. I'm gonna take the color and just create a soft kind of halo effect around my forehead here just to hug my hairline. And then I'm gonna take a little bit and dust it along my jawline, a little bit down my neck here. And then I'm gonna take the brush, dab into the pan again, tap off any excess, squeeze the brush, and then simply dab and dust a little bit on my eyelid and into my socket. And this gives a really pretty but natural lift to the eye. To finish off, I will dust my nose. By using a really natural, beautiful soft bronzer, it's created an instant kick and lift to my complexion. The next thing I love to do as a makeup artist is to find a really poppy shade of blush that just gives the face a real boost just like the freshest coffee beans. So this one I've chosen because this shade suits everyone. Now it looks a little bit scary in the pan, but wait until you see how pretty it looks on the complexion. Simply with your brush, dust in, tap off. And then the technique I like to do when I want to give my cheekbones just a very subtle lifted look is I'll place my brusher just on the corner of my cheekbones. You're just gonna dab that color right there. 
and then take that up to the top of the ear. This stunning shade really gives a pop to your cheekbone and a pop to your complexion, just like you've had an extra shot of coffee. Did you know there's an eyeshadow colour that will always help your eyes look brighter and just more awake? This is the colour here. It's a beautiful mix of peach and pink. And when you use it on your lid, it instantly wakes up your eye. Take a look at this. Just press it onto the lid. You don't need to be an expert with this eyeshadow. It's so easy to apply. You can simply press it onto the lid. If you don't have lots of fancy brushes at home, you simply with a clean finger blend it. If you do have brushes at home, take a blending brush and just move it side to side. Hopefully you can see just how this has just color corrected any discoloration on my lids, just to make my eyes look more brighter, fresher and awake. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how you can use a really beautiful liner to make your eyes look clearer and the natural color of your iris pop. It's a really soft peach color that instantly brightens the whites of your eyes and makes your natural iris color look really, really vivid. I like to apply this on the lower waterline, but just in the middle. So I'm not going all the way around. I'm just using it in the middle. Let me show you. And this just gives me that tiny little pop that helps my eyes look brighter and more awake. When I feel tired, I really want my eyes to look more open, lifted and to touch more youthful. So I like to use a mascara such as this one that really lifts and lengthens. To apply your mascara the makeup artist way, it's really easy. You simply take the wand, you press it right at the roots of your lash, give it a tiny wiggle and then lift up. Let me show you. Wiggle, wiggle, lift. When I want to create more intensity, I turn my wand vertically and I coat each lash just to give my eyes just a touch more definition. I'm now going to apply to my lower lash line and to do that, I simply stamp the wand right at the root and gently bounce. When I want to create more length, I turn the wand vertically and coat each lash. The lovely thing about this mascara is that it lifts, curls, opens your eyes really beautifully in a very natural looking way and it doesn't smudge. I found the perfect duo to give you a your lips only better kind of vibe. I've chosen a lip line and lipstick that work beautifully together that make your lips look incredible. They're like your lips only on their best date ever. I'm going to show you how to apply it in such a way that gives your lips a bit of oomph. So to do that, we're going to line our lips with this beautiful lip liner that's so smooth and easy to use. You can't go wrong with it. And you're going to start from the corner and you're going to go to your cupid's bow. And from going, going from the corner up to the cupid's bow, as opposed to from your cupid's bow down to the corner, will really enhance your natural lip shape so much more. For the lower lip, simply hold your pinky finger as a stabilizer, stretch your lip, and take it from the middle up to the corner. So because I'm only focusing on this side of my face, I'm just gonna apply the lipstick to this side of my face. Let me show you the oval look. So just like coffee makes me feel awake, these are the products that have created this look that help me look awake. This is my caffeine kick makeover. 